Hi, I'm Sam Sanders, a manager here at AC Mole. Today, I'm going to be giving you a reminder of the extended loss carryback that is available to companies making trading losses in accounting periods ending between the 1st of April 2020 and the 31st of March 2022. Previous corporation tax legislation allowed a company to make a claim to offset the loss against total profits of the previous 12 months after first having set the losses against any profits of the accounting period in which the loss occurred. The new temporary rules will extend the current one-year carryback entitlement to a period of three years, with losses being carried back against the later years first. This was one of several measures that were announced by the government to assist companies that may have suffered economic harm from the coronavirus pandemic. The amount of trading losses that can be carried back to the preceding year is unlimited. However, after carrying back to the preceding year, a maximum of £2 million worth of unused losses will be available for carry back against profits of the same trade to the earlier two years. This £2 million limit applies separately to the unused losses of each 12-month period within the duration of the extension. This means a cap of £2 million for all relevant accounting periods ending in the period 1st of April 2020 to 31st of March 2021 and a separate cap of £2 million for all relevant accounting periods ending in the period 1st of April 2021 to 31st of March 2022. The £2 million cap will be subject to a group level limit, requiring groups with companies that have capacity to carry back losses in excess of a de minimis of £200,000 to apportion the cap between these companies. Whilst most claims will be required to be made in a return, claims below the de minimis limit of £200,000 can be made outside of a return. This means that standalone or group loss claims up to that limit will not require waiting for the company tax return to be submitted. The claim can be made as soon as the losses have been established and are usually quantified once the accounting period has ended. Standalone de minimis claims will require sufficient information and evidence to enable their validity and accuracy to be verified. Claims for the extended loss relief must be made within two years of the end of the accounting period in which a loss being carried back arises. If there are insufficient profits in earlier years to absorb loss relief claims under these rules, any unrelieved losses can be carried forward to offset against trading profits in future tax years. There are similar measures available for unincorporated businesses making losses from carrying on trades, professions or vocations in both the 2020-21 and 2021-22 tax years. If you need further information, then please get in touch. There is more information also available on our website and at www.gov.uk.